The emails should set up the telephone call. Recruiting, I think, should go in a progression. Letters are very impersonal. Emails a little bit more personal. The phone calls are what you want because that's when you're really going to get a chance to interact with the athlete. So the email, I think, should set up a phone call. That's the perfect situation to say, can you call me in my office next Thursday or Friday between 3 and 6? I'd like to talk to you about two things. Give them a specific time, but ask them for the phone call. Letter to email to phone call. That's the progression that you want. Don't try to do it all by letter. Why shorter? Because it creates curiosity. Again, you're not answering all their questions, which might be a little frustrating to them, but it's also going to be good for you because you're going to have the opportunity to interact with them one-on-one -on, -one on a better basis than by letter and by email. So it creates curiosity when your emails are shorter. And what's so great about a telephone call? Because telephone calls let you do three things. First of all, now it's their voice and your voice. Talking to each other, interacting and not having it be so formal. Second thing that it does is it allows you to get a better sense of who they are as an athlete and as a prospect. You can now ask them questions and interact with them and get a feel for, are they really interested? Is it, do we have a real shot at this, uh, at this athlete or, or not? And the third thing that it does is it gets you closer to getting them on campus, which is the ultimate part of the recruiting cycle, is getting them on, uh, on campus. Coach, I have news for you. They don't care about you. You are the means to an end. Now, they'll love you once they commit. Once they're on campus, you're their coach. But right now, they don't, they don't really like you. And sometimes, in fact, you bother them when you call. And you know that. You get the sense. And when I go to a campus, one of the things that I try and do is I sit down with student athletes I say, what are your coaches doing right? What are they doing wrong? What could they do better or differently? And over and over and over again, they say, you know, sometimes the coach calls and it's the same conversation. They ask the same questions about my, my boyfriend or school or how did our last game go. And I even had one, one girl say, when coaches call, I just put my cell phone on speaker and I do other stuff. And occasionally I'll make, you know, say, uh-huh, yeah. Or I'll answer their question, but I'm doing other stuff. They're not even engaged because it's the same questions. There's no creativity. Your phone calls need to be about them. Now you say, well, I'm asking about their boyfriend. I'm asking about their game. You need to go beyond that and ask questions that are going to lead them to want to interact with you in a recruiting way. In other words, questions that are going to give you information and also walk them through the thought process of, are you the right coach for me? Or is this the right program for me? You have to ask those types of questions. That means no selling. Again, don't sell yet. You haven't, hopefully you haven't sold in your letter. You haven't sold in your emails. Don't sell over the phone. Because if you don't like being sold in a letter, you certainly aren't going to like being sold over the phone. They want to get to know you first. So I think you could be a coach that by the time you get to the phone call still haven't really said anything about your program yet and you're going to be just fine. There's time for that. There's time for that. No selling on your call. This is all about them.